Hey guys, welcome back to another trade breakdown. Uh, 17th of October is a shocking day today. So I took three L's in this London Open. Um, not very happy about it. A uh, bit embarrassed about it as well. Um, did something that I'd said to, to not do. And that was I shifted my bias and took an L on it. And that led to a um, me missing a decent move as well. So um, let's have a look. Let's go straight to the charts. So what happened was this was um, how the market had um, started, okay? And what I was anticipating was price to push down, push down into one of these areas. Um, and I was really looking to take it long from here to go back up and then look to target the Asian high. That was that was the move that I was looking for. Um, given that we had we started the um, Frankfurt Open, this th this is the first thirty minutes candle, wicked up nice and nice and high. This Doji closed bearish, just went here to the little wick fill, made sense to to sell down, um, and then take out this Doji low. That was that was the easy part of the move. Then I saw um, lovely liquidity candle and I had a bit of a bullish bias with the way that the daily candle had closed. And if we overlay the daily candle, you can see like it opened here, closed here, and this was like the daily candle. So I s thought, you know, it makes sense if price pushed down to like the lower part of this body, then we could um, push up. Maybe if it was even going to go even lower to this, can this area here, this purple and green box, which would be the hour liquidity candle. So this is the 30 minute liquidity candle in New York session. If I go to the hour time frame, then you've got this one right over here. And then we've got a lovely little area inside of here. So either, either one of these, I thought would be a great area for price to push down, give a little rejection and then push up and then continue going bullish. That was the plan. Um, if I go to the lower time frame, I'll show you what happened. Okay, first off, um price on as soon as it opened we had price shoot down i was like beauty you know looking good if it can come down just a little bit lower take those longs back up the top but it didn't give it it didn't give it at all it just it just zoomed back up so i missed the buy that i was planning and then after it took this euro high i thought well maybe it's left liquidity behind i thought after it had pushed up here, I thought maybe it would give it an entry to take it back down and then finish the job. So that's what I was hoping. Um, price pushed up. Okay, this is the first. Um, I don't know it's not it just it, you know it's just pushing up really high. This one here was the first rejection candle. So this one here wicked up higher than the candle to the left, closed bearish, looking like a bit of a rejection near this Asian high. Did have a little point of interest over here as well. You can see this was like a five minute. Um, go to five minutes. Oh, I can, you can see it in a three minute anyway. Save me having to go to the other time frame. See these three candles that have the no wicks. I thought that would be a beautiful area that price could actually react from. Just need to wait for an entry. So had um this is the first one next one oh kept on going higher no not not um new candle now so this one because this one here has broken the previous candles high now i'm looking at this is my rejection even so it's still closed lower than the previous high so i'm happy with that being a rejection wick so that's the first one just need to see price sort of push down a little bit create like lower highs this is the first one looking good then um, wanted to see something came back up and take an anticipation entry. Okay, price wicked up here, beautiful. And then as it started pushing down, I got a late entry. So as it was, I didn't get the best entry, which would have been here. That would have been the best entry, stop loss above. Took a little bit of a later entry and as price was pushing down, entered here. Now, the thing that stings a little bit as well, price did continue pushing down. You can see here, I was up about 18 pips. 18 pips from entry that I was positive. Um, and I let it I let it become a loss. So that's uh, that stings. I was thinking at first target would be around back to these 
areas over here. I thought that would make a lot of sense, but price got stuck around this area. And as it was hesitating for so much, we had the 15 minute candle by this stage had closed. This one here had closed. So the 15 minute candle is very bullish. Um, this is when I was up about 18 on pips. Then price came back up and started pushing bullish. And that's when I just cut the trade, realized um, it wasn't having it. So it took a loss on that one. So that really, it sucks because it was up 18 pips, um, nearly one to one. So anyway, it is what it is. Then um, as price started pushing bullish, I thought, well, okay, now we can actually keep on going up to around the 15,320 area and this is when i i change my bias and i always i say this don't do this i say never change your bias just wait for wait for your setup so you can see where price i was intending for price to go like this little accumulation area over here i thought we could really dig into that and then sell off um so i changed my bias and thought well if it comes back down gives me a setup i'll go long and that's what i was that's just Bloody dumbass thing to do, dumbass thing. So price came down, okay. Thinking that now we could push up, do this whole wick fill. Gave a was this the first candle? Nope, not the first candle. Not this one. Maybe it was even on the one minute. So I took this. Yeah, I think it was on the one minute somewhere. So I think it would have been, no, it would have been on the three minute. I think I got a little bit aggress aggressive with the century. Oh, no, sorry. It was on the 15 minute. My mistake. On the 15 minute, I was anticipating that it could be a 15 minute um, reversal. So this was my first liquidity candle. Then price pushed up, came down. And then as it was wicking into this candle's wick, I thought that maybe would have the liquidity to then push up from here. So it wasn't to be this one here, just went straight down, hit stop loss. So this one here, I kept it quite low risk, as in like I wasn't risking that many that many pips on this one, but I did get slipped. That's that's what really stung, is that on the broker, um, if I go to the one minute, it should have been just a just a quite a small um, stop out so i was expecting it to just get stopped out more or less uh no where is it somewhere somewhere down here i was next yeah oh sorry my mistake somewhere down here that's where i was expecting it to get stopped out if it pushed down um but then this next candle gapped down and then i actually got slipped about 4.4 pips i believe from memory so it just made the stop the loss bigger. I was only risking low, like small, so it doesn't like that's not gonna end my account at all. Just annoying having to deal with these issues. Like it was large spread to deal with. Like I'm getting paying three pips spread plus commission, and then I'm getting slipped on the stop losses. The entries aren't quite as precise as I'd like it to be. Um, and then I gave it a third go. And this <laughs> so after this candle, I thought this one here, okay, pushed up as it comes back down. It was more or less, it was in here somewhere. Gave it a third go um, and then it just, it just died. It's absolutely just died. So yeah, there were the three L's that I took and then price just shot down. Ah, so annoying. Anyway, um, there was a trade after the stream. I didn't take take it on this um prop account though, but I did take the buys from here to go long. So that was the only one. At least I got something to salvage for the day. Okay, original. Just going for the original zone that I wanted. Um, should have just been much much more patient. So Tiger was up at two twenty. So 220, more or less here. So I ended up do and ended up getting this trade, but it was on my personal account where I, I was I felt a little bit more comfortable. Um some of the salvage anyway. So um 
there were the three losses. I'll just bring it up. I'm down one point um one nine percent now from today. So this is an absolutely terrible day. And you can see where the entries were. Okay. Here was the first sell that was a loss that I was up a bit. And then you've got this one here where I took it that lost, and then this one here that lost. So yeah, just a crappy, crappy day. Anyway. Tomorrow's going to be another one. I'm only down 1.4% now on this account total. So nowhere near the end of the world. Keep risk low. This, I can make this back on one. It only takes one good trade to turn things around. So hopefully tomorrow, that's the day. I'll get this out and um, appreciate the support. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Give it, hit the bell. I will see you on the London stream shortly.